had an ongoing conversation this morning with Howard Dean. Somebody brought up the fact that a lot of college students might have resented the fact that Hillary Clinton got paid so much money uh, for giving paid speeches at colleges when they're fighting to pay back their loans. Uh, I want to ask you specifically, she made uh, uh, close to a million dollars uh, or perhaps over a million dollars. Uh, from speaking fees at colleges. Do you think it's wrong for her to go to places like uh, UConn and also the University of Buffalo, a college she once represented, get paid $275,000 for a 45 Joe, minute speech? Joe, I got a real problem with people, you know, receiving, uh, you know, for an hour's work to earn $200,000 plus. Dollars. I've got a real problem with that. Uh, but it's not just, you know, speaker's fees. I, I think what we're hearing from young people is a real disgust with a campaign finance system uh, in which billionaires and Wall Street are putting in huge sums of money. You may have read recently uh, Secretary Clinton's super PAC raised $25 million. $15 million of that came from Wall Street. Uh, and what we're trying to do is do it in a very different way, get small individual contributions averaging 27 bucks a piece. So I think this whole thing of money and money in politics is something the American people are deeply concerned about. So we put a number up earlier today. Nobody around the table from Bob Woodward to Howard Dean to Cokie Roberts had ever seen anything like it before. It was the split of the young voters in Iowa. Bernie Sanders, 84 percent. Hillary Clinton, 14 percent in the youth vote. We couldn't explain the huge disparity, historic disparity. Why? Do you think you did so well with young voters, and why do you think she's doing so poorly with young voters? Well, Joe, I wish I could give you, you know, a, a, a full and, and, and significant explanation. I don't have it, but this is what I'll say. Uh, two things. Number one, by definition, young people are idealistic, uh, and they want our country to do more in many ways than we are currently doing. They, they are concerned about institutional racism, they're concerned about a broken criminal justice system. They are very engaged on the issue of climate change and the need to transform our energy system away from fossil fuel. And obviously there's the economic reason. Look, these young people, for the first time in the modern history of America, are looking at a situation where they may have a lower standard of living than their parents, while almost all new income and wealth is going to the top 1%. They're smart, they see that. And they want to see an economy that works for all, not just the billionaire class.